New tonight, the Munising Cannabis Company will close later this month. The micro business first opened in October 2022. And TV6's Clint McLeod shares what obstacles the business has faced and what discount deals you can still take advantage of. The Munison Cannabis Company has only been in business for one year. By the end of this year, it will close permanently. Which we are different from a dispensary and we wanted to be different from a dispensary. Unfortunately, that was a very expensive way to go about it. What makes the Munison Cannabis Company different from other cannabis retailers is that it is a micro business. There are different restrictions on micro businesses than normal ones, including how they can sell and produce their product. We grew everything here, we processed everything in-house, made all our own edibles, um, everything was done in-house, which um, turned out to be a pretty expensive way to go about it, um, growing and labor and everything involved in doing something different. The store is having a 40% going out of business sale on all items. Irving says that discount will increase in the coming weeks. We're really proud of what we did. We wanted to do something that would make Munising very proud. We're the only micro business in the whole UP and we got voted number one in the state. We were very, very proud of that. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't enough to keep our doors open. The store was named best micro business in April by the magazine Michigan Green State. Irving says the cost of production, slow business and competition from two other marijuana dispensaries in town made it difficult to remain open. We've been struggling for a little bit. Um, we didn't open until October of last year, so we missed the tourist season, and that was just based on the delays from the state and everything else that it took. Um, and so then we had to start the business in the winter, which is never a good time to start a business in this tourist area. Six employees are now looking for other jobs. Irving says the tentative closing date is December 27th. She adds the building will become available for sale or lease. Clint McLeod, TV6 News, Munising. Thank you, Clint.